Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Canadian rocker Kim Mitchell. Hi. It is my very great pleasure to be here tonight, everybody, to help honor one of the greats of Canadian rock and roll. Miles Goodwin was the creative heart of a band which had a huge influence on musical taste and the haircuts of a whole generation of Canadians. I'm talking about April Wine. In the late 70s and early 80s, if you were ever going to get lucky at a high school dance, chances were it was the last dance, the lights were low, and you were dancing slow, probably to a power ballad sung by Miles Goodwin. Miles and his friend Jim Henman started it all in a basement in the Halifax suburb of Waverly, hammering out hits by the Beatles, Dave Clark Five. Gig by gig, they built a huge loyal following. He played guitar and rolls and tunes of love and romance. By 1969, everyone in Nova Scotia had heard of April Wine, and it was time for the rest of the country to catch on. April Wine hit the road. In 1971, they had their first hit record, Fast Train, and there was no looking back. For more than a decade, their songs were on every radio station in North America. In 1977, when the Rolling Stones wanted to make an unannounced appearance in a Toronto nightclub, jam-packed with music fans, April Wine sold out the house. With four gold and seven platinum albums, April Wine toured the world. They produced a string of hits which became instantly recognizable rock anthems. Journey to the stars 
Na 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 na